Hey, Benny Fash, it's the 5th of June, 2019. I may not get this up tonight. I'm going to try uh, because it has to do a lot with what's going on tomorrow on the 6th. Uh, you have this Jerusalem March for Pride going on tomorrow, okay? The same time that you have the uh, D-Day in France with Trump and all the dignitaries, all the bigwigs, all the so on and so forth are going to be there, right? So at first when I saw this article, it was earlier today, and I read it, it was really coming across my spirit as something, something wicked this way comes, you know? This is the same theme that, you know, we've been hearing loud and clear is this equal rights and liberty and uh, equality. It's just an insane time to be alive. You know, the, the whole list of things that they're trying to achieve are the same things that everybody else wants. We all want liberty and equal rights and all these things. And they are not the only ones being persecuted, that's for sure. Uh, but nonetheless, it's all driven by this pride. This is all we see everywhere. Pride, pride, pride. Trump is the pride of America. Israel, the pride of Israel. And these people, the pride of whatever they're proud of. But I'm telling you straight up that pride is not a good thing. So I started taking these notes and a lot of things started just kind of like pouring out of this. So they're having this on tomorrow and it's their 18th Pride Parade, which, you know, we know how to place the 18 together, which is also a nine, a number of judgment, the 666. Okay, they're looking for liberty, but they don't specify. You want legitimate liberty? No, you want licentious liberty. That's what the world wants, okay? Now, this is just a kind of jumbled up here, so hopefully, you know, these notes help you. They help me, I can tell you that, because this stuff just comes in, and I try the best I can to, to put it together to, to share with you what I'm being shown here. But they, they begin this Pride March at Liberty Bell Park, okay? Liberty Bell Park in Jerusalem. Okay, and again, the licentious liberty of Baal, Bel, Bel, liberty of the flesh, do what thou wilt, will lead you to death. Legitimate liberty leads to life. You can read about that in James 1, you can read about it in many places, but this is just the way it is. So I wound up, oh, look at this, the, the parade route. Wait do you see this, okay? They, they have these rainbow flags literally peppered all over Jerusalem. But you just got to kind of like wrap your mind around this. This, this is the city that God put his name on. And, and they are promoting this pride, not just pride, but licentious liberty and pride. These are not things that God approves of. They even have the rainbow flag right out in front of the great synagogue in Jerusalem. Think about that. They took God's sign, God's token of Noah, and they've turned it into this. And I'll tell you what, this is what comes soon. I'm just telling you. And so I went to the map again because, I don't know, I, I'm just led to that thing a lot lately. And it's because all of this stuff is just so hugely ritualistic. And on such a grand scale, this this deception of this this flesh and emotion driven pride in this world, it's like this is all of the devil. It's it's incredible to me. I mean, this is crazy, but so I did. I went to the map and the things I found really, really interesting. Uh, you just can't like dismiss it. You know what I mean? But, like I always say, I'm compelled to show it because I truly am. But we're going to go over to Jerusalem. And where do you see this stuff? This is just wild. And this is where the parade uh, begins and ends. This is the Pride Parade route, this, this pink line. Okay? They go up and around in Jerusalem there. 
But the parade route is the interesting part because if you look at it, okay, that's that line right there. And that that's the real route. You know, I just drew it out and was like, wow. If we look at it in kilometers, which it is, it's 2.22 kilometers. Which, of course, you know, if you break down to meters, 2223 in this case, but still, okay, the 222. And that it does not end there because I'm looking at this, this day in particular. We have the Pride Parade. We also have Trump at the D Day landings where this giant satanic banker driven blood ritual occurred, okay, trying to defeat evil. I mean, you just got to wrap your mind around this stuff, you guys. I just showed you the the 2.22 route of the parade. But if we go from where this parade all happens from to the D-Day site, the actual D-Day site where Trump and all these dignitaries will be tomorrow. Okay. You see how it looks like there's two, one straight line there? Well, there isn't. There's actually two lines there. That other one goes to another place that's extremely interesting, and it's exactly in the same direction. But these are the beaches of the Normandy D-Day landing, okay? Now, just watch this. This is crazy, you guys. That would be this line right here, from Jerusalem to the D-Day. And look at this. Look at this in miles. Just check this out. 2,222 miles, okay? And I realize I could fudge it one way or the other, but this, ladies and gentlemen, is exactly where D-Day went down, exactly to a T. And I showed you the other day with the Bilderbergs and the Arch in Paris, the 444 miles, but this is interesting to me because these two pins right here, they represent the entrance and the exit to the Gothard Base Tunnel, which this line runs exactly over the center of. And that tunnel is the deepest man-dug point on Earth, and it happens to be in one of the most evil regions in the world. Now, everybody should remember very clearly the Gothard Tunnel ritual. This thing was off the charts unmistakably undeniably by the devil himself right so that runs directly over that location exactly to the d-day location where tens of thousands of humans were slaughtered okay they loved it but what i really wanted to show you is if you continue this line straight over like i showed a second ago which would be uh, this line right here, same exact direction, that goes over to the Stonewall Inn, located at number 51 to 53. So you got to wrap your mind around this. 5153 Christopher Street, where the whole Pride uh, Rebellion began, because that's what it is. Just think about that, 5153, <laughs> Christopher Street, and that's that line right there, okay? This goes all the way over to the D-Day event right there, continues that other line. And if we look at this line, we went across the ocean, 3030 nautical miles, okay? Just, just hear me out, because this is how it comes to me. 30, 30 nautical miles, 22, 22 miles on the other end. So what do I do? I get my calculator. Now get a load of this. We had the 2222 two, two, two from Jerusalem to D-Day. Then we have the 30, 30 from D-Day to Stonewall, the Pride Line. We can call this the Pride Line, 52, 52. Get a load of this, right? You can't make this stuff up. To be vain or arrogant, to think more highly or esteem oneself over much. Pride. That's what it means. It's really quite extraordinary, if you ask me. And it continues. Okay? 
and I went through a bunch of other things, their equal rights and their tolerance and their legitimate and licentious liberty, their double-mindedness, because that's what this is. It's They're blinded. They're just enthralled with the flesh and the emotions and all these things, right? So the liberty pride to D-Day was 22. I showed you all this. But the 2222 two, two, two is to pour like water. It means water. And it's used only one time in the entire Bible in Psalm 72, 6. 726. This is just what I see, you guys. And one other thing. I was watching my brother James Smith's video this morning. And at 5311 in that video, he mentions the Ark of the Covenant. And it just so happens that on tomorrow, it will be exactly 13,666 days since Ron Wyatt made the claim that he discovered the Ark of the Covenant in Jerusalem by the Garden Tomb, which is a whole other video I want to do. But this is insane to me. Okay? And then we got three days to Pentecost. Um, all of these things fall into place. And there's a lot more stuff. I, I've, I've seen some things today that are really intriguing. A lot of things going on. A lot, you guys. Tons of things going on. But I wanted to share that with you. The Jerusalem Pride March is tomorrow, 6-6. The same as D-Day. And all of these connections that I showed you are all connected together. Look at this line. Straight to D-Day. You can't even tell there's two lines there. Straight through the Devil's Playground. This whole area. France, Paris, CERN, Bilderberg. All of this stuff. That tunnel is just off the hook. Evil exactly to the Pride Parade at Liberty Bell Park, home of Jerry the Dragon, if you can believe that, which is another name for Jeremiah, and they have a dragon named Jeremiah. What do you think that means? I don't know, but it's ridiculous. But it's all right here. It truly is. And even the shape of the parade route to me when I first saw it it looked like a vessel with a handle on it like a cup with a pointed bottom just like the type of vessel they use to collect the blood of the sacrifice for the altar it has a pointed bottom that's just what came to my mind when I saw it so you know again you know I share this stuff with you because I know it's relevant and I know it's meaningful and I know that things are coming that you're just not going to be able to withstand if you're not on the foundation of Jesus Christ. I pray you know him. I pray you're saved by the blood of his sacrifice because these things are coming upon the earth. And he is the only door, the only way to life. Seek him today, diligently. If you're humble and sincere, he'll answer you. He'll show you the truth. He truly, truly will. So. Peace and grace to you all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God.